Hello! Well, we are almost there. Almost day 24 of the 25 books in the month of June. And please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that I can bring you all the bookish fun. Can you believe it? Just one more book. Just one more book after this. And then our journey will be completed. How exciting is that? What is the book that I'm going to share with you today? Um, pretty much all of the books I have brought to you are books that I have personally read myself, with the exception of maybe two. There was an Alice one, there was Whistling Past the Graveyard. Um, those two, I think they're the only ones I didn't read. Oh, and I didn't read the book of poems because I just got that and I didn't read Raymond Carver's, um, what we talk about when we talk about love. I didn't read that yet, so four, four of them. But all of the others I have personally read and I recommend. What book shall I bring to you today, friends? Shall I bring you White Oleander by Janet Fitch? I've read that. Shall we talk about that? I don't think so. What's another one I have read that I may bring you? Shall I bring you um, Genghis Khan by Jack Weatherford? Um, no, no, no. How about Let's Pretend This Never Happened by Jenny Lawson. No, I'm not in the mood to laugh. Although I always love to laugh. No. Shall I bring you a strange book that I read? Box by Christina Dolcher. Absolutely not. No, that's not it. I know, why don't I bring you another book that I didn't read? So that will mean, let me see, if I do my math correctly, 19 books that I have brought to you, I have read. Four, I have not. Yep, so let's do another book that I have not. I'm going to present to you this book. I am gonna read it per near quick. Um, in the next month or two, because curiosity ha has me. Um, yes, I am extremely curious about this one. This one is Firebug. It is by Devon J. Buckley. And I don't know what the odds are, but I do believe in... Um, serendipity yes I do and I do believe in that so while I was making a mad beeline for the cashier in my local bookstore don't ask me how but my eye went like that and I was like whoa back up I picked it up and I read it's been a long dream of the author Devon J. Buckley to publish Firebug, a book he's worked on for nearly 15 years. A lifelong resident of Nanny Coke, a small rural town in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania, Devon began his writing journey while attending Greater Nanny Coke High School. He continued drafting Firebug while becoming a registered nurse at Luzerne County Community College. He continued his educational journey at Wilkes University in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, where he earned his Master of Science in Nursing. Um, this murder mystery leads the reader through the eyes and life of a Miranda Castillo. 
a lifelong resident of Manticore, a small town in the USA. After losing her mother in a tragic plane accident, Miranda is left to live with her father and stepbrother, Brandon, who happens to be the newest fire chief in Manticore. As in any town, drama pursues, but this time a town is destroyed, lives are lost, and there's only one person to blame or not. From friendships to affairs and mysterious crimes and murder, this mystery thriller captivates the reader's attention from start to finish. Buckley works to ensure each page is packed with suspense while leaving small breadcrumbs along the way to help solve the crimes that destroy the town of Manticore. So that is why I bought this book because, because he's close to home. Somebody with big ambitions and big dreams has fulfilled his goals. And not only has he earned his Master of Science degree in nursing, but he also took the time to write a book. 15 years is a long time to write a book, but I am not casting judgment because I have never written a book. So... Who's to say how long a book takes to write? It's as long as you want to take to write it. Um, so I just want to say good job, Devin. I am going to be reading your book. And I am going to be giving a review on what I thought of it. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be a very enticing read. If you get a chance, support. I like to support, if you're from my area, support our local authors. I try to do that often. My book seller has a section with local authors and I try to pick a book out often because I do like to see up and coming authors um, being supported by the community. So um, you don't have to be a member of our community to support an author, you, I'm sure you can go online and get yourself a copy of this book yourself. Um, so yep, that's my day 24 recommendation of the 25 books in the month of June. I am so glad you joined me bef before I part ways. And until my next video, know that I love you. Be well, be good, be radiant.